Rebirth. A place for sinners that have to be integrated back into our society. For a holy crusade we need more striders. And so it was only natural to look for black sheep that wanna come back into Okran's light. My brothers brought me two prisoners to take with me. A man named Ashar. A former drifter and miscreant that was doing his misdeeds in the Holy Lands. Since his crimes against the Holy Nation were not severe, he now has the chance to redeem himself under my command. And the second one is a woman named Shima. She stole from the Holy Nation and was caught by a paladin. He tried to keep her as a servant. But she escaped and tried to move out from the Holy Land. It might be Okran's will, because she was caught by a patrol and sent to Rebirth. She was also a member of a former crime syndicate. Her skills might be helpful to us if we can tame her. With our new striders we came back to our home. My holy brothers have been hard at work, with building some barracks and our own weapon and armor production. Karl also came to me with some great news. His brother Miruko, who was still living on the farm, decided to help us to grow our own food. Miruko de Redeemer is his name, a loyal and holy servant that chose the path of a farmer to keep us fed and to support his brothers. He is most welcome at this crusade. Meanwhile, Mr. Klee Nex has been mustering the new recruits and two of them have been chosen to follow us along with our crusade. A Scorchlander with the name Shadow. He has lost his memories and can only remember his name and how to swing his huge sword for Okrin. And a Greenlander with the name of Bonk. Or Brother Bonk as they call him in the Holy Nation. A man who has devoted himself for the greater good of us Okranites. Loyal, divine and faithful. He is a man who has achieved what most dream of. But even though he was respected, he had this emptiness in his heart. And when he heard about the Holy Crusade, he knew he had to join us. With open arms I welcome my new brothers and sisters. And it is now on us to fortify our outposts and prepare for the crusade. Hello my fellow Kanji players and welcome back to the Holy Crusade episode number 03. In today's episode we are going to welcome 5 new community members and then we're going to build our base and we're going to craft some weapons, armor, we're gonna fight some raptors, the good old stuff, you know the start of every Kanji series, training, training, training. So let's start this. First we have Asha here. AKA Cinderblocks Films on YouTube. Asha was a lunatic and miscreant who was doing some bad and shady stuff in the Holy Nation. But his crimes weren't that severe, so they let him choose to join Barabbas and redeem himself. Welcome to the Holy Crusade, me friendo. The next one is Shadow, aka God of War 2117. And man who has forgotten his past, the only thing he can remember was his name and how to swing his huge sword for Okran. And also welcome to the channel because you mentioned that you're new. Also, I have realized something. Uh, I've always been playing with the mod that gives you more weapons and I realized that the Holy Nation does not have heavy weapons. Apparently there was always a mod that I was using with the Holy Nation weapon, so I am going to redo a few things, like some of you guys have really great ideas and many of you want to use a heavy weapon, so I'm going to say that the weapon here, that the Fallen Sun here is basically Holy Fallen Sun, it's 
it's Okran's beam or something like that. So it sounds good. Because yeah, there is there that's the only heavy weapon I can give you guys without it looking too bad. So I think the Fallen Sun fits pretty good in that. But let's go to the next character. His name is Bonk. <laughs> Bunk, aka Tobias on YouTube. Tobias has also been with my channel for quite some time. Thank you very much, Tobias. Bunk, or as we call him, the Holy Bunk, has been doing many great things for the Holy Nation. But he has always felt empty, so he now he decided to join the Crusade of Barabbas. Welcome to the Crusade. He will be a nice addition with his art, because he's also using martial art to fight our enemies. The next character is Miruko, the Redeemer. Also, Mirko on YouTube. Mirko has been also following me for quite some time now. Thank you for this, Mirko, and welcome to the Holy Crusade. Mirko the Redeemer has chosen to be a holy farmer, to support his brothers in the fight that is to come. And as always, every servant that supports Okren is welcome. And then we have Shima here. Shima, well, she stole something from the Holy Nation, and then she got caught. And then she tried to flee again, and then she was sent to rebirth. But the Holy Barabbas has decided to take this woman into his holy arms, and maybe, maybe we can convert her to become fully loyal to Okrin. Shima will develop into a, a little bit of a fevery character. And she will also get a lighter weapon, because she's currently using a hacker on her back. Joseph has asked me to do that. And I also kind of like the idea of a rebellious holy member, you know, that not everyone is like 100% following Okran's code. Some of them are a bit rebellious. That's why Shima will be a little bit of a thief. She will try to do her own thing in that sense, because Joseph is always making great great backstories. By the way, Shimmer is Joseph Ela's character. Joseph, thank you for joining in again. I know you've been following my series for quite some time and I'm always happy to see you. I hope the introduction was okay. Like I mentioned, I'm trying to get everyone in pretty quickly so that I can tell the story with everyone together. Anyways, guys, these are all the characters and today, what are we going to, what are we going to do today? Or I should probably show you what we're currently doing. Over here, we have Dorian, who is smithing away on the weapon smithy. And as you can see here, we are making refitted blades. This is the highest that we can go. Well, it's not really true. We can go cartoon number one. Let me check something out. Ah, yes, we already have been crafting cartoon number one weapons. That's the only thing that we can craft. We can't go higher because everything that is higher than cartoon number one needs books. And we are not using ancient science books because they are forbidden in the Holy Nation. I set myself this barrier to make the playthrough a little bit more interesting. And I want to see how far we can go with this. Maybe just maybe, if we have no chance against the enemies, then I might consider using ancient technology. I might find a cool introduction to this to us, but yeah, I don't want to go too much overboard. Like, I would say some ancient science book would be okay, but AE course, nah, we're not gonna use that. That's a bit too much, but I think, I think we will be able to do this even without any higher equipment. Now, since Dorian has been smithing away, his weapon smith is on 45 now. Obviously, he can't go higher anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It just, it just, He's just crafting weapons faster now. So yeah, I'm going to learn some blueprints so we can craft some holy weapons. And then I'm going to start to give our crusaders better weapons. For example, here, a Baladin's Cross is refitted. We can go to Cthulhu number one, so one level higher. And yeah, this is old refitted here. Old refitted. Davar is not using a weapon, but refitted blade. So we can upgrade this a little bit more. I think that the Holy Nation is only using refitted blades. They can't go to Cthulhu number one. We can do this, we also need this for our crusade. And now the Holy Handy here, he is currently making leather. Because with this leather, we are going to craft ourselves better armor. We also need some blade beating station. Now for the blade beating station, we need engineer research. I think engineer research are allowed since the Holy Nation is also using plate armor. So yeah, we are going to get an engineer research, that's fine, but everything else is strictly forbidden. Maybe we can also go to Narcos Trap, which would be somewhere over here, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, 
I not even thought about this. Maybe we can get this from Narcos Trap because the Paladins can help us there. Why is there a red dot? Why is there a red dot there? Factions? Nah. No upcoming events, so it must have been some units that have been trying to raiding us. Oh my, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong today, but I'm making so many spelling mistakes. This episode will be a cut festival for me. But Alice, if you want to record, Patrick, you have to give in. So I can also upgrade this to level 2, which means more iron plates. So let me first pick up Dorian, because these are worth quite a bit of money. And he's going to go to Blister Hill, and so he's going to sell these. Also with the barracks we have here, we have also... Wait, let me take Barabas here. Miruko the Redeemer is currently farming the green fruits. Awesome. Uh, I also need some wheat straw field over here so we can make our own bread. And yeah, as you can see, we have the first bats here. So we can start healing us because we got attacked a few times and it went a bit annoying, but I think I think it's it's good now. It's good. Oh my, they are still around? The United Cities are still around. Well, they tried to assault my base, but they they just instantly vanished. Like, they came and five seconds later they were like, oh yeah, the raid has ended. And now they are attacking my brothers. Can't believe this. The elite soldiers here. That's the problem. Like, their weapons are really good. Like, the Holy Nation has such bad weapons. I always wonder, like, what will happen if the Holy Nation gets, like, really strong weapons, like the same as the United Cities. I do want to find some raptors now. I wonder where are all the raptors? Usually, once you build some green fruits, they instantly charge in and try to eat it. But apparently right now there are no raptors around. And my nest multiplier is on times two, so that means there should be. Yeah, I hope that the United Cities are not attacking us here. That would be devastating. Who was screaming there? Oh, whole nation outlaw. They're still fighting down there. Now, if we could take this guy in, you know, and train on this dude, might be a bit of an overkill, though. But later on, we're going to capture some samurais and whatever, and we're going to train on them, obviously. We have to get strong somehow, guys. And since we are also restricted on the weapons... Okay, how is Dorian? Now, do they close, or can I buy something? Okay, I think I still have some time here. Ooh, we made quite a nice amount of money with the staffs. Uh, they currently only have one blueprint, though, the combat cleaver. Yeah, I don't think I get that. I really need the Paladin's Cross. That's the one I need. Dorian, since, since you're here, let's get some food. Oops, that was the wrong building. The question is, do we wait here? I mean, I, uh, I guess I'm gonna bring the food back, whatever. Let me bring the food back. Just so you know, the food comes back. How much iron plates do we have? Only, wait, only six. Okay, there are five in here too. Before Dorian is coming back, I want to upgrade this so we can make these things faster. Let me drop these out, then we should be able to upgrade. Come in. Gonna wait for this more. Yeah, there we go. Let's upgrade this. Maruko pick up these plates, otherwise he will take it. And then we have a problem because then we can't finish this. I don't like that the red dot is somewhere around here. These are probably the United Cities. How much iron plates does he need for the staff? Two. Only two iron plates. Two iron plates, two hours. So an iron plate is... 100, so 260 cats for an iron plate. And the staff makes us... Yeah, that, okay, that's not that much. We get like 80 cats. We're just making these staffs currently just to train it. Do we have enough power? 20 power for this. Okay, some raptors. Okay, I can I can deal with raptors. Raptors are not a problem. No Davar is kicking them in the in the water. By the way, Davar's martial art is already on 32. As you can see here. And it's going up quite good. We need some skin anyway. I might I might turn the nest multiplier even higher up so we can get more raptors in. Because these raptors are a really good training. It's just like basic training. They are not so strong that they, they could like do severe damage to me. Shima, go fight Dean. Go fight them. I also need to get Shima a uh, katana or something, like a quicker weapon. I think we're going to smith this ourselves. I just need the blueprint for it. Your leg is not looking too good. Damage report overall looking pretty good. Yeah, I mean, the fight in the water here is a little bit stupid, I guess. But except for that, I'll take it. Mr. Kleenex here is just foraging the animals. <laughs> He's literally like the good old Kleenex. Just skinning things. Oh, uh, holy brothers patrolling around. Oh, more coming. Good. I mean, that's good. Like, that's really good training here. 
Let me see how much Kleenex gets for one hit. He got 5% for one hit. I mean, he had two of them, but that's really good training. Like, how, how fast? I mean, I think 40, like 40 attacks should be easy going with these Raptors. Oh, I'm also letting our servants fight here a bit. I thought about putting them all on passive, but I think it's not bad if they do get some experience fighting right now. It would make sense that if some raptors try to eat your crops that they beat the shit out of the raptors. Does make sense, doesn't it? I mean, I don't think that Barabas will be able to rank up a lot with his skills. He is 54 in hackers now. That's also quite a bit. Wasn't that a nice fight? Also, we got a lot of skin from this. 36 in here. That's a lot. It's a good way for Handy to train his armorsmithing because armorsmithing starts off really badly, but once you reach like specialist grade, you just craft specialist and masterwork, and then then it becomes really good. From there on out, we can craft ourselves good armor, and we really need the armor since we can't rank up higher with the weapons. We have to go get some really good armor. Also, chain shirts are necessary in that case because we need them for protection against, you know, losing limbs and stuff. The Holy Nation is, it's, it's kind of funny. Do they not use prosthetics? But the gear they're using is like literally not protecting their arms. They're like, yeah, please cut off my arms. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking of hunting for raptors, but I'm not sure if I should go out before we start to build our walls. Let me quickly check our building materials. We have 24 right now. All of the servants are working away. Oh, this, Okay, this only needs one. I just realized that. Ah, uh, I need energy. My power level is too low. That makes sense. Uh, of course, I only have one wind generator up here. And that's apparently not enough. So yeah, then that means let's go. Alright, Dorian made it. But this time, <laughs> I didn't forget about him and it didn't went nighttime. So, uh, let's go in here. Uh, why do I not get new blueprints? Gotta check out, I think there is another weaponsmith down here in stack. I might check out stack then. Oh, well, talking about this, I could send Barabas over to stack. Then Dorian can buy some electrical components here. Uh, oh yeah, there's something I also could buy. Some first aid kits. Can never have enough of those. Also this large backpack. Might not be bad. And let's also get some food. When Maruko doesn't have anything to do on the fields, he shall work on this stone processor. Make some building materials. We need the building materials to build the walls later on. But like I mentioned, I think I'm gonna keep it pretty small. Even though I thought that I'm going to make the gate on this side, I just realized there's iron here. I just realized there's iron there. Now this changes up things a bit. Yeah, I mean, obviously it would have been good if I would have my... Ah, uh, hmm. Now I'm, a, I'm regretting not making my base on this side. Because I could have placed it around this iron node. And I would have also been closer to the copper node, which is over there. Well, I should have checked it out a little bit better, I guess. But, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> we are still getting a lot of iron plates. And I don't think that we can use all that iron. Like, literally, that's don't think that's possible to do that. So we can work on this mine here, like, there can always be one guy who is working on this here, getting the iron, and then we can have the other ones working on this iron node here. Oh my, 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 what's going on here? Ooh, bone dogs. Don't mind if I do. Oh, I don't have a backpack anymore. I forgot. I gave this backpack to someone else. I immediately regret my decision, because that's a lot of meat lying around here. More bone dogs. What? Two groups of bone dogs just wandered in there. Yeah, it seems like there is no weapon shop in here. Okay. Oh, there was a weapon shop with bad teeth, I think. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, I'm still gonna wait for daytime. So I might be able to get some of these bone dogs. I don't want to ma waste the meat here. And it's daytime. So let me check out the shop here. I hope I can buy a bag. What the hell? Okay, what are these guys doing here? Uh, you know what? Okay, the, these backpacks are really cheap. Also, let me get some bandages. But the bone dogs are still roaming around here. I gotta take off all their meat. That is so much meat, I cannot say no to that. Also, let me help my brothers, or maybe not. Do this on their own. Good, now let me go on this side. Oh my god, look at all the meat! Are we getting attacked? Starving bandits. Oh, this shall not be a problem, shall, shall it? Carl is still chilling in here. Come on, get out of there, Carl. Help your brothers and sisters. The skin is not even that important right now. 
it's more about the meat. Because with that meat, we can cook our own food. Okay, I mean, meat alone doesn't help. We really do need some other things. What I would like to get is I would like to start producing my own bread and then make Gohans, for example. I mean, I'm not Gohans, I mean, feud cubes, obviously. There we go. Good. Well, let's move over to Batty first. Then let me check my power supplies. Another small wind generator. I thought someone else also had electric components. Might have been... Oh yeah, someone has. Dahar has. I mean Davar. I always say Dahar, I don't know why. The only thing we need now is iron plates, but we do have plenty of them. Does it go into your Witcher? A valley of plenty, a valley of plenty, oh, oh, oh. Does it go into your Witcher? I love that song. Can't believe the next season of The Witcher will be the last. At least in my opinion, okay? Da 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 da. Oh my, so many red dots, but don't think anything bad will happen. Maybe we got some raptors back. It is fine, it is fine. You blow my mind. Oh yeah, there's a weapon shop here. I knew it. Oh, uh, show me your warehouse. A long cleaver. Long cleaver? Yeah, I guess we can learn that. Uh, it's too expensive, I can't afford it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, well, it is what it is. I guess I could sell more skin. That's a possibility. Who's fighting there? Holy Nation Outlaws, I guess. Yes, I was right. Oh, you can bet your ass there's a samurai in there. Look at him. What the hell is he doing? Let me fight him. Gotta help my holy brothers. Oh, how much do I get? How much do I get? Well, 3% and that's at 50 attack. Oh no, he's attacking me. Later on, I need these guys for training. That's obvious. Prayer day has arrived. Prayer day ready to get best goddamn day ever. Let's come. Let's let's Kleenex do this again. Oh my, they have so many higher paladins. Look at all the high paladins. What? Oh, that, that's just a hole. <laughs> okay, let's go through this. There we go. Good. Another successful prayer day. Oh my, this is training my skills up quite a bit. I'll take it. Oh, they're using MK2 weapons. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, and their gear is probably special. Oh, God. Yeah, their gear is pretty good. Their gear is pretty good. Yeah, in case you're wondering why I'm not stealing this, I, I want to get our own, you know. Yeah, the Handy is here for a reason. He's here to equip everyone with good gear. We're not taking tainted armor from the samurais. Yet we could really start smelting in weapons and stuff. That's that's a thing we could do. Look at these MB, MVP priests here. Having like a whole squad of holy palad uh, like high paladins following them. Good, now we have the second small wind generator. This should be enough to keep producing weapons and everything. <laughs> can we get some more skin? I think we can. I'm gonna sell the skins or I can't afford the blueprints. First, let me put this in the skin container though. A meat container. God, what's wrong with me today? Sometimes my brain is like all over the place. And I'm stumbling over my words. By the way, what do you guys think? Should we get rid of other bandit factions and stuff? Or should we just mainly focus on going to the Ashlands? Like, what shall be the plan? Also, I have to think about acid protection somehow. Uh, maybe maybe we're going down with gear that doesn't have acid protection. Then Barabas is like, well, we can't fight like this. We have to do something different. And then we start to use acid protection. I gotta integrate this. Ah, uh, why is there no weapon here that I want? I mean, uh, yeah. The first time I was in here, there was a blueprint for a good old Paladin's Cross, but apparently I'm not as lucky anymore to get these. Oh no, Starving Bandits coming in again. Let's beat them up. I guess I could also check out the Tech Hunters up there. They might have some technology that can help us. Might be not a bad idea to send Shima up there. Because law-wise it would make sense if Shima is trying to help Barabas in some specific ways because maybe she thinks like hey Barabas ain't such a bad guy He's just a believer in Okran and he wants to help the world who knows who knows But law wise it would make sense that Shima would converse with the tech I mean the tech hunters are also on the good side of the holy nation at least they 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 are you know what I mean, right? They're putting up a facade They're like hey, we are we are just normal human beings Our staffs are full again uh, oh yeah, that's something I wanted to do, I forgot. Wait, let me do it like this, then uh, these things down there. I wanna put this out here. Yeah, this backpack is bigger. 
And bigger is better. That's what I wanted to do. Let's go up there. Or, you know what? Go down to stack. Mm -hmm. My holy brothers. Hmm. Making a gate here would be a really bad position to defend it, though. I just realized that. What if you make a gate here? Like, there are our crops here. Or are we really make, gonna make it on this side? I guess it would be the best way to defend it. Because I can, like, go place it down here and then go a little bit straight and then down because then we could place more turrets up there that would not be a bad idea i guess i sent it ah damn it i sent him to the wrong city i forgot they don't have a weapon shop here don't want to say i'm stupid but i might be i might be in the meantime barabas could check also we need more skin because handy can't craft more well, he's about to reach 50 in armor smithing, which is awesome. I think 60 means specialist grade. Then we can start to produce our own weapons. Or maybe it's 80. Yeah, oh wait, no, 60 is high. 60 is high and 80 is specialist grade. Yeah, Barabas, you're moving up there. Oh, so Dorian is getting attacked by Hudo. Oh, some raptors. Some raptors. Let's see if they have restocked in here. Let me sell you all of my stuffs. Alright, I should have enough money now. It can't be so hard to get a Paladin Scrolls, can it? The Long Cleaver. I don't want to spend the money now. I'll wait for Barabas to be up there. Okay, it seems like they have not restocked here. One day, I will get my blueprint. And don't tell me I can get the blueprint. because I'm pretty sure I saw it. I'm pretty sure I saw it in there. By the way, if Maruko is not working on... How much building materials do we have? Might need a bit. Things are going good, if you ask me. Uh, Holy Crusade is prospering. I like it. I like it. Sooner or later, the Ashlands will be our next target. So, the Holy Handy doesn't have anything to work with anymore. That means that we need to build... Leather Armor Crafting. Uh, eight iron plates. Do we have that? I think we... Yeah, we have that. We have eight iron plates. That's good. Also... Let's start to craft a few... Oh, wait. That's a flesh cleaver. We ain't not using it, but we can... We can just craft it. Oh, wait. We need fabrics. Don't we need fabrics for that? Oh, we also need a cotton farm then. And yeah, take it. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So handy. You can also work here. Yeah. Yeah, Handy needs some materials to work with, since we have so much iron. Okay, this might be a bit too much, they don't have that much money. They don't have that much money. We need the iron later on anyway, because for strength training, we're going to make a few... Uh, we're going to buy a few backpacks then, fill them with iron. And we can always go strength training... What the hell? <laughs> the hell the farm is just <laughs> punching the starving bandit. Can I buy here? Like, where is the vendor? I have not seen a Wender so far. I have not seen him. I mean, I would like to buy some stuff from these guys. Maybe the Wender was knocked out. Everything is possible. Uh, usually when they close shop, we come back in. I think that's around 11 p.m. So we're gonna wait. Okay, now I think the day got knocked out somehow. We can check out the other Holy Farm though. Uh, oh well, uh, we made it, but obviously it's night time, so they, they aren't open. I'm gonna wait here a little bit. I wish I could have some more skin for a good old handy. I might have some skin here, but I don't think the paladin will win this. Oh, he di he is. Get some skin. Go work away, handy. That girl's really cozy. Look at handy working away here. Uh, handy is just crafting ourselves some good stuff. Okay, we gotta wait until daytime. Then we gotta buy some fruits, and then I'm going to end this episode because I can already be recording for a bit. I might have Mooncliffe is worth quite a bit of money, but I think it also takes quite a bit of money to make it. Uh, I think we're gonna make some horse choppers now. Why not? Material cost is six. It sells for 400 though. Uh, staffs might be better. Let's go back to staffs, whatever. Oh, there he is. I was like, hey, where is the leader? But here he is. Give him some iron. We get the wheat straw. And let me get the cotton. But anyways, guys, this is the end of this episode. And I want to say thank you for watching again. I hope I do see you in the next one. 
Oh yeah, the next one episode, by the way, of Kanji will be The Collector. I've not abandoned the series, no worries. I'm just a little bit in the alienation fever right now, but uh, the next episode will be The Collector, and then there will be another of the Holy Crusade. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya in the next one.